analysts agree that there's little doubt about the huge demand for online video. Social networking, such as YouTube and Facebook, were until recently something that only a teenager would look at. However, as the commercial world is finding out, if you're not on the web, you can rapidly become invisible as a company. A recent nationwide survey by Burst Media found that 76% of those questioned actively view video on the web. So what can you do to capitalise on this market? Well, oddly enough, it's not a cost consideration. When you balance out the cost of designing, printing and posting brochures, a video starts to look interesting, not only to your customers, but also to your bottom line. A web news item can update your customers in new products and services that your company can offer, and with little effort, be able to attract new viewers to your web area, or even to your company mobiles, allowing every customer and employee to be part of something that is greater than the sum of its parts. I spoke to Andy Black, internet analyst, one of the pioneers of the internet web business. I think the real thing that I've seen occur in the internet over the, maybe the last 10 to 15 years is firstly how, at this time of, of, of where we're at, the combination of uh, availability of bandwidth, devices, the integration into the home is causing an explosion in internet usage. Uh, Ten years ago, it's primarily the realm of corporate organisations who had uh, high bandwidth networks that were using it for file transfer. But now what you're seeing with the availability of home broadband is an audience who actively, as they watch television, will also be using their laptop to interact. And certainly the explosion of social networks has led to a, an almost a, a, a generational spread of the notion of collaboration and openness. I think if you're managing a small uh, business, the internet is the most amazing facility, both for your business and also how you market your business. Increasingly, the old costs associated with running a small business, such as the marketing, which invariably would involve print advertising, is over. There's much more a sense now as a small business owner of a web presence which enables your audience and your customers almost to participate with you. I think the future of any small business is almost like having a conversation with its users and also using the expertise of its users to suggest ways to increase your uh, product, to enhance the product and how to interact further. And because of that almost 24-7 interactive nature between business and consumer now, it also means if you don't bear that in mind in your business, you'll be rapidly overtaken by other businesses who will adopt that. We're also seeing with the advent of the internet the notion of globalisation for many uh, uh, businesses. What this essentially means is that as communications becomes easier between all international offices for particular companies, there is a sense that um, companies needing to operate and collaborate better will start to share information in a much more uh, red uh, readily available form. And as you as an organisation globalise, the internet and video could be used, for example, to share best practice amongst all your offices. It could also, at times of uh, introducing new products, enable you to show aspects of a new product to the rest of the community of workers that you have. It also means you can interact in real time with your users. And uh, you can also offer your partners videos which are specific to your language for your different uh, regions to operate with and encourage the sense of sharing and understanding by using video as, as an educational tool. I think what you'll see in the future is as um, the channels get more and more broken down in terms of television channels and entertainment channels, invariably what will happen is there'll be more and more distinct niches who will require specific programming and content delivered to them. And I think the role of a corporate organisation now, instead of trying to segment their user community by very ad hoc demographics based around uh, A1s, A A2s, B1s and so forth, is even getting down to the micro level whereby you're using, for example, um, credit card information about that user to really hone who they are, what their values are, how they respond to situations. So you start pitching your product and company in a far more personalised way to your consumer. The future is here now. If you look at what businesses uh, are, are using the internet, 
I don't think there's any time now to wait to actually plan how your business will use the internet to grow itself, both in terms of audiences and how it supplies products and services through the internet channel. Generationally, the, your customers of the future will all use the web for their primary way of interacting. If you market your business in an old-fashioned way, you'll find your audience will be dying away.